So use of a pole plant in the bumps is really important. You shouldn't make a turn without one. A good solid pole plant really helps us control the rotation of the upper body. And it also gives us a point around which we can pivot. Try and keep the pole plant movements as small as possible. Use your hand and your wrist to plant the pole and plant the pole on the top of the bump. If you're feeling really brave, why don't you try planting the pole over the back of the bump? This will increase your speed and the flow down the mountain. This is the movement used to make a pole plant. See how the movements largely come from the wrist and from the hand. Practice making this pole plant movement in a traverse. Time the pole plant so that as you hit the bump, you have an extra point of contact with the snow. Use this same timing when you're ready to make your turns. The pole plant will stabilize your body and make turning the skis easier. If you can find a ridge to practice on, then you can perfect the timing and execution of your pole plant. Remember, using your poles in this way will make the bumps easier for you. Try and get into the habit of using your poles all the time. That way you don't even need to think about it and it will happen naturally.